were given to us by the uh, the Quadro GPUs. Um, and Mali isn't really just for uh, visualizing this data. It's also for producing and editing this data in a, an interactive way. So I can come into here, pick some colors, and just start painting more detail down into the surface. Um, and edit uh, this data. Um, traditionally, um, other systems may allow you to deal with uh, tens, maybe twenty uh, large textures. Uh, this example is the blacksmith data set that we provide as training material, and this has seven hundred um, large textures in it. Um, We've seen people using hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes of uh, textures interactively um, and in real time. Um, but what the, uh, the Quadro GPU gives us is a very fluid, interactive, uh, freeform artistic experience. So, what I can do, uh, um, what I can do is zoom into to here. I can obviously, as I showed earlier, start painting. But it also provides a large amount of freeform image editing and manipulation tools as well. So I come over here, start manipulating the, the textures on the surface to allow my um, what I've painted to fit the underlying, uh, underlying geometry. So here I've, uh, I've obviously put some, some huts onto there. Um, and I can put some, uh, some more very quickly. Um, make something slightly more obvious. Uh, but you can see that the, the interactivity, even though I'm dealing with a very, very large amount of textures, is, is still very smooth and, and very interactive. Um, as I uh, briefly showed earlier, Mali doesn't just deal with static geometry, but also deals with uh, animated geometry as well. Um, and this is uh, a feature which is novel in Mali, but came directly from experience on Avatar. Um, in Avatar, a lot of the characters and objects interacted with each other. So you had people putting paint on your faces, or um, scratching, or uh, denting metal. And without the ability to see your animation, this sort of effect is uh, very, very difficult. Um, so uh, along with uh, the animated geometry, we also support animated textures as well. So any one of these 700 textures can have a, a full set of animation on it as well, um, which allows effects like uh, water dripping onto cloth, uh, mud splattering onto creatures to be done very easily and uh, very cheaply uh, with a texture artist. Um, in this particular example, I don't just have one texture over the whole surface. Uh, each pixel on the uh, on the screen here is actually made up of up to 15 uh, textures. So what I can do is quickly show each one of these textures and, and how they interact. Um, show some of the, the different channels of information that go to make up the, the overall texture. Um, so I, I've broken my final result up into different passes. Each one um, contains one piece of information about the surface. So here this is showing where the, the sweat is, what colour the veins are, the underlying colour, the dirt mask, and onwards for lots and lots of different pieces of information, all of which I combine into one final result.
but even though they're, they're combined, they're still editable and controllable in real time. So what I can do is come down here and just start adjusting the, the tattoo, or um, I can even make the, the quick character dirtier or, or less dirty, depending on my choice. And really, it's giving uh, free form sort of artistic freedom to the artists using the, the GPU is, is really Mari's, Mari's great strength. Um, we also provide uh, some GPU accelerated uh, color manipulation tools as well. If I come in here, I can start playing. Uh, excuse me, sorry. With the uh, the overall look by adjusting the hue or the saturation of the the color channel. So again, I can turn him into a Navi from Avatar if I if I want. Um, but without um, having everything based on the GPU, there is no way that we'd be able to have this level of interactivity with this amount of data. Um, so, Maui has been in development now for, for four and a half years. We've recently released uh, a commercial version on Linux, and we'll be having a commercial version on Windows within about six to eight weeks. Um, I'll be available for more questions afterwards if you have any uh, questions. But uh, thank you very much for your time, and I'll be having back to that. So, thank you. We ship with, but this is um, another asset showing a very large texture. Mm -hmm. So in the previous demo, all of the textures were 4K, so mm -hmm. 4,000 pixels mm -hmm. by 4,000 pixels. Uh, this is uh, 32K, so 32,000 pixels by 32,000 mm -hmm. pixels. So. Um, and that's over the whole surface of the, the creature, mm -hmm. um, the Terminator. And also, uh, this is animated as well. So this will just take a, a moment to load. Um, and this is about 1.5 million polygons. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, it shows that um, we deal with large geometry and large textures. Um, and this example shows that you can put lots and lots and lots of uh, texture data where you need it and still very quickly um, edit and uh, paint onto the surface. Mm -hmm. And th this was uh, used for every uh, every model in Avatar, mm -hmm. so all of the creatures and all of the, the hard surface. Um, and also, I can go to the the three D view, two uh, D view, and mm -hmm. paint into here as well, and all of the editing tools. Work in, in this view too. So with Mari, the the artist isn't limited by the amount of RAM on their GPU mm -hmm. or even on their CPU as well. So um, your CPU could have only eight gigabytes of RAM, and you can still edit hundreds of gigabytes of textures. Mm -hmm. So, this is a, an example of maybe some more traditional creature work, mm -hmm. where I have a, a, a very dense polygon model mm -hmm. of my creature, and I can combine um, different 
channels of information together to provide my final result. Um, but I can also use reference images as well to paint onto the surface. So So here I can maybe take some real squid data and start painting down yeah. onto the surface. Yeah. And then use the image editing tools to make that fit. Onto the surface. And then and maybe make it actually shiny and yeah. um, and then one final example would be more of a vehicle. In this example I have uh, three million polygons, mm -hmm. so quite quite dense um, and lots of different channels of information mm -hmm. which I can then combine into my final result and if I want to paint So I have a, a lot of control in a very uh, artistic way. Mm -hmm. Okay.